Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 10 latest defense updates. Number 1. Modi in Paris. Naturally, breakthrough in Rafael program expected. According to sources familiar with the matter, it has been learned that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's state visit to France in July might see India announce the Dassault Rafael M as the winner of the Indian Navy carrier born multi role carrier born fighter tender that is MRCBF. Additionally, there may also be some breakthroughs in the talks during the visit. Next, while India seeks a JV engine for MK, India might continue Kaveri development. After experiencing turbulence in its turbofan program for years, the dry Kaveri engine's fortunes have turned around. It has completed high altitude trials in Russia where it delivered hour, hours of smooth performance. As a result, DRDO's GTRE lab also awarded a production license to Godrej Aerospace for eight modules of dry Kaveri engine over the next five years. These modules will be refined to make them near production ready. Next, India made UAV to keep eye on missile test facilities. The leakage of classified information, images and videos of India's integrated test range that is ITR by contractual employees who have been either honey trapped or paid money to keep an eye on India's missile program has become a cause of concern for top officials leading to sleepless nights in recent times. It happened even just uh, two months back. The Chinese listening post located on Cocoa Islands in the Indian Ocean is responsible for monitoring missile tests conducted by India in the region. But recently, concerns have been raised regarding the further development of the island by China, which some fear may lead to the deployment of spy balloons or unmanned aerial vehicles for the purpose of monitoring India's integrated test range. Next, India's Navy's combat capabilities augmented with sea-based endo-atmospheric interceptor missile trial. The trial of a sea-based endo-atmosphere interceptor missile further augmented, augments Indian Navy combat capabilities aimed at making it a force ready to preserve, protect and promote. The country's maritime interest said a statement by India's Na Indian Navy. This successful firing is a significant milestone towards Atmanirbhar Bharat, added the Indian Navy. A very good news I am going to give you. ISRO is buzzing. Lines up three launches in two months. Unmanned test mission in Feb 2024. The Indian space port in Andhra Pradesh is buzzing with activity as the Indian Space Research Organization is planning three launches in the next two months and will also embark on first unmanned test mission as part of Gaganyan program. Talking to reporters after the successful launch of PSLV C-55, which had injected two Singapore satellites, Telios 2 and Lumina, Lumilite 4, in the precision, in the precise 586 kilometer orbit in a dedicated commercial mission from the SHAR range, here, ISRO Chairman Dr. S. Somnath said, works have already begun and the space agency is planning three missions in the next months. After today's successful launch, ISRO tweeted, PSLV C-55 Televios 2 mission is accomplished successfully. Next, two C-130J aircraft INS Sumedha positioned to evacuate citizens from Sudan. Two Indian Air Force uh, C-130J have been positioned in Saudi Arabia's Jeddah and INS Sumedha has reached Port Sudan. 
द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर सेड इन एन ऑफिशियल स्टेटमेंट ऑन संडे वाइल गिविंग डिटेल्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन टू इवेक्यूएट इंडियंस फ्रॉम सुडान द एम ई ए सेड दैट कंटेंजेंसी प्लान आर इन प्लेस बट मूवमेंट ऑन द ग्राउंड डिपेंड्स ऑन द सिक्योरिटी सिचुएशन नेक्स्ट आई टी सी एम सीन हेडिंग टूवर्ड्स द टेस्ट रेंज दैट मीन्स नेक्स्ट ट्रायल सून A video circulating on the internet shows an ITCM launcher being transported on a road towards the integrated test range. The video has was captured by a passing passenger from a car, and it suggested that fresh trials of the missile could be conducted soon. The notice to NOTAM for a Designated test area of seven fifty kilometer for missile testing remains active. Next, a good news: India joins super elite club of countries with sea-based BMD platforms. In a landmark achievement, the Indian Navy and the Defence Research and Development Organisation successfully conducted their first flight test of a sea-based. Indo atmospheric interceptor missile the missile was launched from INS Anvesh previously known as the DRDO technology demonstration vessel and this places India in the exclusive group of nations with indigenous sea based ballistic missiles defense capabilities that is BMD congrats next Russian defense companies might move to India for fleet sustainability. Russia is exploring the possibility of shifting the production of its military equipment to India to resolve payment issue that have arisen due to US sanctions. As India and Russia have long standing defense lies ties, the recent US sanctions have created challenges for India in making payments for Russian defense equipment in light of this russian officials have suggested that shifting production to india could help all alleviate payment problems and it would enable india to pay for equipment in rupees rather than us dollars next iit indore develops low cost camera in collaboration with nasa caltech The Indian Institute of Technology Indore is in collaboration with NASA Caltech from the US and Sweden's University of Gothenburg has developed a lost low cost camera setup which can provide multispectral imaging of four chemical species in a flame using single DSLR camera using only a single DSLR camera it can simultaneously capture multiple spectral three dimensional images of four chemical species in a flame whereas earlier scientific imaging required a complex system with four cameras said devender deshmukh professor with the iit indore department of mechanical engineering thank you